Hello guys, welcome back. This is Player, and today I'm going to introduce you a sand roll door. So this time, as you can see, it is a three by three door with a row of sand in the middle. And when I walk through it, it opens really quickly, and I can close it with the flip flop integrated. So yeah, and the design is actually not too small. I mean, not too big. Uh, I wouldn't consider it as really compact, but um, except for the triggering mechanism for the pressure plates, it is actually only three wide. So I would consider it not really too big, I think. So let's crack on with the tutorial. And the first thing you need to know is to you need to place down um, two pistons like so. Let me just place down two pistons like so, and then slime blocks like so. And then next thing you want to do is to actually set up it into the closed position. So you are going to power this piston and then this piston and then put not really sand but actually sandstone and then sand on top and then another layer of sandstone and then slime block here and then just um, put the piston here okay so now you can see it's in its closed state and um, now I'm going to put down four blocks here four blocks here and do the same thing on the other side I mean on the top okay so let me check if that's true yep it, that is the design and then um, the next thing you want to do is to actually place down pistons here I mean actually facing inwards and then same for this side um, a second okay so and do the same thing on the other side but also remember to leave a air block there so it is going to be like so and then um, going up here as well okay so all the pistons are in place and then the next thing we want to do is to hook the whole thing up so to hook the whole thing up the first thing you need to do is to actually put down an unmovable block here and then put redstone on it and then a block here put redstone on it and then just run the whole line to here and then the next thing is to place stone on I mean between all the pistons here all the normal pistons here and then put redstone on top okay so now you are going to need some um, some slabs so the slab will go somewhere around here and here Actually, this has to be a block because um, I'm going to do a repeater on two ticks here. Yep, it is two ticks. And then um, you are going to place redstone on top of that. And then redstone here as well. And then block here. I mean, uh, slabs all around here. And then redstone on top of that. Okay, I've left one. Okay, so now this is actually done and then the next thing we want to do is to actually place down a redstone repeater here and then a redstone here a block here and then a repeater facing into the block and then another repeater facing into the piston on two ticks and then one block here and a block here but before you place this block you should place a stick piston to make a more stable circuit and then you are going to place a redstone here and a block here and then you are going to place a block here actually this can be a block or a slab but also remember to place a redstone here and here and then do the same thing on the other side just to hook up all the redstone and do this okay so now you are going to place down all the redstone here and then all the things are hooked up but the next thing is you need to place another um, unmovable block here which would be here and then a redstone on top of that so now I think that is pretty much all done and let me just test this out okay so it opens really quick and also it closes really quick so I think that's the design and the tutorial for it and now I'm going to do a tutorial on how to actually put down the um, pressure plates for that so of course you are going to need pressure plates for this you're going to place the pressure plate on um, this block let me take my pressure plate okay and then another block here 
pressure plate on top and then uh, two blocks down and the rest on here and then just line up all the, all the blocks like so and then a redstone repeater here and then a redstone repeater here and a block here and then blocks like this two blocks like this and then two redstone like so so you can see that when I step on that that's not going to trigger because I, I've got to put one redstone there and then if I try to trigger this works and then if I try to walk through it also works let me try to do this whoops okay let me do this okay so as you can see it also it actually opens and closes really quick and it's not too big of a design so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and of course try to also watch other videos of mine that um, actually was gave out um, few days ago just like this uh, sand on the ground door this one is actually not released yet and I'm not going to do a tutorial on this one because this is actually just um, something I want to showcase about just like um, you take this way just like uh, I'm going to do this and it will actually go up and um, so this one would actually uh, make the all the slime blocks go up and then it would actually also um, make it downwards like so and the wait a second so there should be a actually I should take this back and put it here so there is actually an item here and it alternates downwards and make the redstone go downwards just like um, what he actually did here and recessed the whole thing so uh, these are some designs I've been doing lately and of course for this one auto jump um, door which I've got to place blocks here but never mind they're not necessary and uh, also some other doors like um, this one and I think that's all and also some quick contraptions like this the um, toggleable clock and also the triple piston standard I'm going to release the video of that soon and uh, yeah so I think that's all for this for the video and I hope, I hope you guys um, like this design and I'm sorry for my pronunciation today because I'm not really feeling too well and I think I hope that my explanation will actually be understandable for you guys so yeah I think that's all for this video and I will hope to see you guys later. Bye bye.